Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from AF Sister Wig. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I was sent is a 20 inch kinky straight lace front wig. The density is 130%. So this is a first for me because this wig does have curly edges. It does have 3C to 4A curly edges surrounding the hairline and that is my own natural hair texture so I'm so excited about this one. This wig cap does come with four combs, an adjustable strap, and a removable elastic band. All right, let's jump straight into this video and see how this wig looks straight on your head. Okay, so straight out of the package, placing this wig on my head. I'm obsessed with these little curls in the front, y'all. These little curls, they, you know, they getting me. They're still in my heart. Let's just brush them a little bit to see how it would look after I, um, you know, style it. Or if I don't want those baby hairs in the front, how would it look? This actually looks like new growth. Does that not look like new growth? I'm obsessed. I'm really excited about this one, y'all. One thing that is really concerning to me is the shape of this hairline. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I don't really know. My hairline is more of a rounded, like circular shape. And uh, this hairline on the wig is more squared and it has an arc in the front. So, um, I don't, I don't really know what's going on over here either. But the good thing is that the baby hairs will cover that. And you guys, you can do your own curly baby hairs too on any wig. I have a video posted on how to do that to get your um, edges to look just like this. But the fact that it comes like that already is a plus. So I'm gonna move on to uh, plucking some hairs from the hairline. I do want the hairline to be a little bit thinner. And then also the baby hairs I want that to be more of a gradual density as well so i'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting just to get rid of some of that extra density surrounding the hairline before you continue this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment down below in the comment section so that i know you stopped by so this is me just experimenting with the baby hairs a little bit more i sprayed some water on it and i got my brush and i just wanted to see how it would look this looks like Someone had natural hair and they were in the gym and their, their edges were sweating out and they have new growth. And I just love how natural it looks. This is really, really, really one for the culture. The other one was too, the kinky edges um, hairline wig was for the culture as well. But this one I feel like looks a lot more natural to me because this one is like a perfect match for my natural hair texture. They're both flawless wigs though. I love, love, love the fact that wig companies are giving variety as to different hair textures and hair types because not everyone has the same curl pattern or the same hair texture and some people may be going for a, a totally different look. So the fact that they do have options now, y'all, that that's just kudos to them for that. Here we are, here's how the hairline is looking after I plucked some more density. This is always an optional step. You do not have to pluck any extra hairs, but look at that. You can't tell me that this is not a natural hairline. I love how the edges are fluffy. They're three dimensional looking and they're just kinky and curly from the hairline on backwards. So let's jump straight into making this HD Swiss lace a perfect color match for my complexion. I will be tinting the lace by using two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying around the hairline portion of the under portion of this lace frontal. And the second one is a lighter color. That is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying on the inner portion of the lace frontal of this wig. I'll be blow drying between each layer and doing two different layers of each color of lace tint. This is always optional because HD Swiss Lace does blend in with any complexion and it is supposed to be a flawless melt, but I do like doing my lace tints because I do not wear wig caps underneath my wigs. Because the hairline is a kinky curl, I wanted to style this wig in a way that I would style my own natural hair when it is blown out like this um, hair has been blown out. So I am just going to do a twist out, a cornrow twist out, and I'm going to have some perm rods at the ends. I'm going to start off by grabbing a section of hair and then I'm going to use some styling foam, add that to the hair and then comb through it of course, then start this cornrow twist and when I get to the end of the twist, I'll be using my perm rod to curl the ends of it. 
Now you notice that the hair is kind of loose. The twist itself is kind of loose and because we need it to air dry, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. So I'm going to get the hair and I'm just gonna tighten it with my fingers as you see me doing now. And then when I get to the very ends of it, I'm just gonna wrap it around and then I am gonna secure it underneath the lace. And it's gonna stay there perfectly tightened like that and it's gonna air dry that way. And I'm gonna have the most beautiful curl pattern when it's finished air drying. So if you do this hairstyle, do not use any water. There's really no reason for you to put water on it because the hair is already straight um, and the hair is going to get manipulated by using that styling foam. So just completely omit the water um, because it'll take longer to dry anyway. So I am all done and I'm just going to allow this hair to air dry overnight. The next morning I'm going to grab some shea butter oil. I'm just going to apply that to my fingertips and take my time untwisting and unwinding these perm rods. So my initial plan was to unwind the perm rods and then unloosen the twists. But I did notice that a couple of the twists in the back were not dried. So I'm just going to remove the perm rods from the ones that are dry and then just leave the hair alone and allow it to air dry for another hour or so. In the meantime, I'm just going to cut off that extra lace with a pair of zigzag scissors. So now I'm just going to prep my skin, grabbing some alcohol. I'm going to clean off my forehead and then grab scalp protector from Walker Tape and apply that to my scalp. So next I'm just gonna grab the wig, place it on my head. And as you can see, the wig is a bit small for my head. And if you do get a wig that is too small for your head, make sure that the comb in the back is not secured until after you adhere the wig down. So the comb in the back is not placed into my um, hair at all. I'm just gonna focus on adhering the wig down. And to do that, I'll be doing my sponge and adhesive method. So I'm just going to grab my makeup sponge. I am spraying that adhesive onto that makeup sponge and applying that to my hairline. I'm going to do about two layers of that and then grab the wig, place it over that adhesive and then put my headscarf on for about 25 minutes to allow the wig to set. After the lace sets, only then will I grab the back of the wig and stretch the back of the wig you know, down so that the back comb can be secured into my hair. But if I do that too soon, the front is not gonna pull forward enough. So to save time, I did unloosen these twists off camera and here we go. Here is how the hairline is looking. I'm just gonna grab my baby hair brush comb duo and just lightly, very, very, very lightly because you don't wanna pull the hairs out of the lace. So very lightly, I'm just going to just maneuver uh, the comb back and forth up and down just to get any hairs that may be stuck together from the headscarf, I'm just gonna get those to loosen up a little bit and then just decide what I wanna do with these baby hairs. Um, you always have the option of cutting baby hairs shorter if you prefer, but they come at a pretty decent length so far, a very natural looking length. So I'm not gonna do any extra cutting to them. I am gonna grab some mousse, however, and I am going to add that to the hairline just to get that texture to come back, just to get those curls to really pop. And I'm just gonna lightly grab my comb and comb over these hairs. And then you see me flipping some, curling some under, spiral curling some of them with my comb, just you know, getting creative, just trying to make it look as natural as possible. I don't want it to look uniformed. I want it to look messy. I want them to look fluffy and I want them to look as natural as possible. So now I'm just going to grab my pick and just pick through this hair. And here is my twist out, y'all. What do you think? What do you think about the final look? I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So make sure you guys check down below for AF Sisters link. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. What do you think about this wig? I love this twist out. Like I love the fact that this hair was straight. Now it's a curly curl pattern look. Um, and if your hair is thick and full like this and you blew it out and you did a twist out with perm rods at the ends, your hair will look exactly like this. This is giving me natural. This is not giving me Brazilian curly. This is definitely giving me natural hair twist out, natural edges, natural kinky curly hair, just natural all around. Like this wig definitely, you know, has a really special place in my heart. <laughs> it does. Um, yes, leave your comments below and I can't wait to chat with you guys later.
If you're new here, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe down below before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.